This is another video following a comment from a viewer who wanted to know how to do equations of lines of regression. We can actually do correlation at exactly the same time. So I'll show you both of those. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into the stats mode. So pressing two or using the arrows to go around, we'll show you. Now I've got some old data in here, so I want to delete this and put some new data in. What we do, press the arrow button to access more modes and we can delete, which will just delete one entry, or we can delete all, which will delete everything in the list. I'll say yes, and then I'll delete all the data from that list. So we've now got our blank uh, spreadsheet, and we're going to put our data in, and what we're going to do is we're going to put all of our x values going in list 1, and our y values in list 2. So very simply, we just type the value in, press enter, and keep going like that through all of them. When you've got all of your data in, we need to get back to the mode where we can do any calculations with it. So pressing the arrow again, we can get back, we can draw graphs and things, and we can do calculations based on it. Pressing that, now if we wanted to do any calculations about the mean or the standard deviation or whatever that might be, we would do some combination of one variable or two variables, depending on what we wanted to do. We're just going to pop into the settings, and we're going to check. So here we're looking at two variables to make sure that it's taking the x values from list 1, and the y values from list 2. And if they weren't on that, we would just move the arrows uh, down to the part that we wanted and press list to change it to whichever list we want it to be. Coming out of there, we then actually want to go into regression. So press that. Here we can do regression based on different curves. Usually we'll be looking at straight lines. So we're going to want to go into x rather than x squared or x cubed or any of these other peculiar functions that it will do as well. So we're going to press that. And it will now ask us whether we want y equals ax plus b or a plus bx. It doesn't actually make any difference to the calculations that it's going to do, other than a and b are going to mean either the coefficient of x or the uh, number that's on its own. It doesn't matter which one of these you press. If I press that first one, it's done. y equals ax plus b, and it's given me the value of a and the value of b. And it's also done the um, product number correlation coefficient, 0 0.085 and so on. So it's worked out each of those. R squared and MSE, uh, if you are a, um, an A-level student, you're not going to be using these, so we won't worry too much about those. But you've got your the equation of your line of regression and your uh, product moment correlation coefficient. We did y equals ax plus b, just to show you, if I press exit, we do a plus bx. It's exactly the same thing, a plus bx, but now, of course, these two around the other way. So a is my number on its own, b is the coefficient of x. But that's how you can do regression and correlation very simply with a graphical calculator. If you have any questions about other parts of the calculator you want me to show you, please just send me a message and I'll make a quick video. Okay, bye.